Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the engineer system and architecture part. Actually, it's not about only architecture and engineer, it's also about the construction part, it's about the architecture part and all engineer stuff. Let's say you have some engineer system and you have your architecture uh, part. How you can compare, uh, is it everything correct or not? Uh, for example, when we looking at some uh, clash detective, uh, you can use the Navis work, but what if you need to check not only the Clash Detective, you want to check on the plan how it looks like, for example, is it on the right position uh, located, uh, for example, some engineer system, do you like it, because it's a really matter for architects, uh, is it really looking the nice or it's really worse, for example, the some engineer system going the, on the visible part of the architecture, uh, and this is really a matter to understand where is that uh, your system. If you have only one engineer system, it's easy to find it on your uh, drawings. But for example, if you have a lot of it, it's really f hard to find it on your, play, on your plan. How you can work with that? And I will show you the one most easiest way uh, for the architecture to find it uh, mm, a different system on your plane. And if we have a look on the, our project, as you can see, this is local file, this is not a sharing file. And this is a terrible for us, because when you're working in the local file, some of the function you're not able to use. For example, the work sets. You know the work sets, it's kind of like a layouts in the AutoCAD or ARCHICAD. But the work sets in Revit working a bit differently. Maybe later on we will talk about that, but I will show you how you can use the work, work sets in your project. Let's start to use the work project, uh, work sharing, I mean. And uh, first, well, first of all, the work sharing asking uh, what the name work sets, so all the elements will be moved on. Let's leave it, for example, R architecture. I don't know, the wall, let's say. Of course, you should create some bunch of the sets like wall, or like uh, floors and on and on. But we will create just first one. After that, we will create the new one. Okay, now the Revit starting uh, creating the work sets. And of course, as you can see, here is the work sets RR. And as you can see, it's owner me. We will talk about uh, the owner and opens and visible in view in the uh, other tutorials, today it's not about it. Let's create the new uh, layer, yes, I will call it layer. Uh, let's create the new set or layer 02 and it will be RVT, so it means that it's the Revit file and we will call it uh, NEP ventilation, right? So we will call it, for example, ventilation. Okay, so here we are, this is second one, why I did it, why I say this is RVT, because as you can see here, on the 3D it will be better to see, if I will select this uh, file, this is RVT file as you can see, and we will move it to the uh, another work sets. Now as you can see the work sets it's AR wall, but it's doesn't, not correct, we will change it to the work set. Uh, it not will change anything here, but uh, work set now, mm, what can do? For example, we can now go to the work set and we can switch it off. For example, this one, I will switch it off. I don't want to see it. And once you will do that, you not will see it. So this work set's also working like a category visible view. You can hide everything what under this uh, work set. But the... Nicest thing what we will use in this tutorial, uh, we can see different work sets on your screen. How it's working? Here is the small button work sharing display off. Let's call it. And as you can see work sharing display off here. And here you will find the work sets. Let's click on the work sets. Once you will do that, Revit automatically will color it different work sets with, on, with uh, different colors. Now you can see directly. The magenta one is the work set calling the AR wall and the red one is the RVT MEP. So as you can see, now we can clearly see where is our ventilation and where is our architecture. Of course you can create 
uh, a lot of different a lot of different uh, work sets. Let me create the new one. I will say it's the zero three structure. Just let's say structure column. So we have the number three as you can see. Let's say okay and let's yeah I want to see it. And as you can see here we have the columns. Yeah, this is columns. Right click. Uh, let me will select all in this visible view, and I will move it on to the work sets number three. Once I will do that, as you can see now, it's have the different color. Again, now it's more easy easy to see where is our construction site. Of course, uh, construction part it's not only the column; it's also the walls and floors. But this is just like example. Uh, if Okay, uh, on the 3D we can see it, uh, it's really properly to see it, fine, but what's going on on the, our floor plane? Let's go to the floor, floor plane, here nothing changed as you can see, again we cannot see the clearly, for example, can you tell me where is our, for example, the construction wall, for example, this will be a structure wall, let me will change it, uh, can you easily recognize it, where is that, of course no. You need time for to check it, check it. But if you will go again to the work sets and you will change it to the work set, you will see clearly. Uh huh. Here this is structure wall. Fine. Uh huh. Here is the my uh, engineer part. In and as you can see, here is going the ventilation. Easy to find it. Uh, where you can use it. For example, when you checking your model and you don't have a time. Uh, for example, to use uh, some filters, creating the filters, you don't have a time to uh, exporting to the Navis work and maybe uh, they will have some problems with the model, for example, I don't know, if they don't have some assembly code and if, for example, if the model don't have as assembly code, it will be hard to find what is that, as you can see with the assembly code here, and as you can see, nothing, right? So how you will find it? It will be hard. Okay. As you can see, you can uh, see your model and you can manipulate with them. But the thing, and you should uh, remember about it, uh, all the elements in your model should be uh, in the right uh, work sets. For example, here is the my, uh, as you can see, floor. If uh, some architecture or another uh, someone in the project will not correctly put the uh, element in other work set, you will see this situation. And as you can see, now it's not so workable because uh, we get some another element in not right work set category. What else we can do with work uh, work sets uh, when we checking our model? We can go to the work sharing display and we can manipulate with some graphics here. For example, shared levels, I don't want to see it at all, I don't care about that. And for example, column, I don't want to see it on this level. And for example, the color of the my architecture, I want to make the gray. I don't want to mention on that. Let's say OK. And as you can see, now everything changing. Now it's more, uh, more better, you can see, where is the, your engineer part. And you can manipulate with that. Also, of course, you can change it by owners, but right now I'm alone in this project and that's why everything is under the me. What does it mean, owners? If you will go to the work set, you will see the now owner of this uh, layer is me. Uh, actually, I'm not using the owners, so maybe some company use it. You also can check it by owners, it's only up to you. Let me I will go back to the uh, work sets. And we are back to the our mm, to the our work sets to check what's going on in our model. As you can see, this in uh, this tool really can help you when you're checking the model. This is a short tutorial only about how you can use uh, Revit only Revit to check your models. I hope this tutorial was uh, really useful. If you want a more tutorial like this, just let me know the below co the comments, and I will uh, I will uh, try to show you the, some examples from the my work site. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.